Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Travis here with Fandra.com. Uh, today we look at the Galaxy S7 and I wanted to show you guys some of the edge screen features um, and kind of just cover those in depth and give you sort of a walkthrough of uh, all the different options and settings. So the edge screen, as you know, is this little uh, tab that appears on the side of your phone. You can pull it out and cycle through a bunch of different apps and shortcuts and feeds and that sort of thing. Uh, it's all new in Marshmallow and it is pretty, pretty great. So uh, when you open up the edge screen settings in the settings app, uh, the first thing you can do is you can turn on edge panels. I mean, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. So if I open that, you can see there's a big turn on and off button there. So <laughs> you can turn it on and off at will. Uh, there is also the option to choose exactly which edge panels appear uh, when you pull out the slider and cycle through them like so. Uh, you can do up to nine, but you can do as as little as, I mean, one if you just really wanted. So, uh, first one that they have here is Apps Edge. And Apps Edge is sort of just a uh, shortcut to apps. So it's pretty handy when you just want to quickly jump into an app. Um, the next one is Tasks Edge. And this one you can set up and customize uh, to do various tasks and do, uh, they're kind of like shortcuts to functions of the phone. So you can set one up to view a specific album in your gallery, you can view a specific group on your telephone or in your contacts, and you could also have it so it takes a picture um, automatically or takes a panorama or something of that nature if you'd like. And you can add up to two, four, six, eight, uh, ten of those which is kind of neat. And there's a whole list of these and you can even use it like to make direct calls and do all that. So pretty darn handy. Going to keep that one on. Uh, the next one is People's Edge and this one will display some of your contacts and will allow you to do different things with them. So if I could click on Bradley here, I can call him, I can send him a text message. I can, um, I guess, take his photo, <laughs> adjust his photo if I'd like, and then I can also um, just set him with a type of emoji or something. So, go ahead and put that on there. Oh! Yeah, kind of crazy. Um, moving on, you have the Yahoo News, which is pretty self-explanatory. It just kind of has some of the top stories and news articles from the day. Yahoo Finance. Uh, and you can customize that as well to just show specific stocks or your favorite ones. Favorite sports teams with Yahoo Sports. You have Quick Tools, which we have set up right now with the, um, uh, you can use a compass. There's the, let me just show you exactly how that works. The compass, you can have it so it turns on the flashlight and you can adjust the brightness level. It's pretty neat. And then you can also use a ruler, which I know will come in handy for somebody at some point in time. Uh, there's also S Planner, which will show you your your uh, events and things, your calendar and your to-do lists. Uh, there is My Places, tons of stuff. Internet, you could have a shortcut to specific uh, bookmarks that you have on your web browser. And then the weather, which is probably one of the more useful ones. So. Pretty neat. You could also download more. This is data usage is one of them that I downloaded from the Samsung Galaxy Store. And there's a few others as well. There's RAM status, which will give you your RAM. You can have trending stuff from Twitter, although I would like that to be uh, maybe like your specific feeds on Twitter. I think that would be really, really handy. Maybe we'll see that later. Um, but you know, it is open for developers to add stuff, so we'll probably see some more things added later. Uh, and then clicking the little top here, you can uninstall some of the ones that you had downloaded as well. Go ahead and click that. Uh, and you can reorder them. So I know Rob was asking about reordering these because maybe you want a specific one showing first. Uh, and then down at the bottom, you can adjust, fine tune some of these settings of the uh, little tab here that you pull out. So the position you can change to the right or left side. You can change the size of the tab to small, medium, or whatever. I like to keep it on medium and I like to keep it right here next to the power button so you can feel the power button and kind of slide it out. And then you can adjust the transparency of it as well. So you can make it completely see-through and disappear if you'd like. The little tab is bothering you, but just remember that it's right there by the power button and you can swipe it out with your thumb. So uh, pretty neat. 
So all in all, that's edge panels. Uh, going through, you have edge feeds, so this is a little function that allows you to see some of the news tickers and things on the side when the screen is off. So by doing a little gesture like so, you will pull up this ticker that you can cycle through. And um, it's kind of interesting and kind of neat, and it's a good way to kind of view some things without having to turn on your entire display. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. I have my flashlight still on. <laughs> Um, and there's a few of those as well, and some of them can be customized. Again, it's just Yahoo Finance, Sports, things like that. Uh, and you can adjust the uh, timeout for how long they did, they show up on your display. There's also a couple you can download, uh, but not too many of those either. And it's pretty, pretty handy. Uh, lastly, you have edge lighting, which just will allow you to put your phone down, face down, and when you receive calls or text messages, the uh, edge screen there will light up and you can see it. I wouldn't recommend doing that because you'd probably end up scratching your screen. Uh, and then you could also set a quick reply. So by pressing the fingerprint sensor here on the back for two seconds, you can um, reject an incoming call and you can send a preset message which you can configure up to 160 characters um, if you would like. Probably not gonna be using that one anytime soon. And that's kind of it. Those are all the edge screen features on the Galaxy S7. Uh, some new stuff, some not so new. Uh, just be on the lookout for more in the future as developers, you know, build some and release them for the device. Uh, with Fandrew.com, I'm Chris Chavez. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.